The Two Gentlemen of Verona by William Shakespeare. <laughs> Nay, t'will be the hour ere I have done weeping. All the kind of the lances have this very fault. I have received my proportion, like the prodigious son, and am going with Sir Proteus to the Imperial's court. <sighs> I think Crab, my dog, be the sourest nature dog that lives. <laughs> my mother weeping, my father wailing, my sister crying, our maid howling, the cat wringing her hands, and all of our house in a great perplexity. Yet did not this cruel-hearted cur shed one tear. He is a stone, a very pebble stone, <laughs> and has no more pity in him than a, than, than a dog. <laughs> Why, my grandam, look, having no eyes, wept herself blind at my parting. Nay, I'll show you the manner of it. This shoe is my father. No, no. This left shoe is my father. No, this left shoe is my mother. <laughs> no, that cannot be so neither. All right, it is so, it is so. It hath the worse of soul. <laughs> this shoe with the hole in it is my mother. And this is my father. A vengeance on it there tis. And I am the dog. No, the dog is himself and I am the dog. No, no, the dog is me, and I am myself. I so so. Now, come I to my father. Father, your blessing. None the shoe, the shoe, not speak a word for weeping. Well, I kiss my father. <laughs> well, he weeps on. Now come I to my mother. Oh, that she could speak now like a wood woman. Well, I kiss her. Oh, there it is. See how my mother's breath up and down. <laughs> now the dog, all this while, sheds not a tear, nor speaks a word. But see how I lay the, the dust with my tears. 